Hi, I'm Adj, and welcome to Tea Break Tips. In this video, I'm going to be showing you three different ways to mount your Lavellia microphone using our invisible lav covers fur outdoor. Each fur piece is super soft and provides excellent noise reduction when hiding your Lavellia microphone in clothing and also really good at protecting your lav mic against wind noise. So I'm going to take the capsule of the microphone and mount it in the pre-cut window of the invisible lav tape just to keep that capsule sounding nice and transparent and clear of any stickiness. Then I'm going to mount it on the back of the fur piece as such. So next I'm going to need my talent. Hello Caleb. Hi Edge. Okay, so then I'm going to remove the backing paper. I'm going to place it right in the middle of Caleb's sternum there to get the best sound possible. And there we go. Let's let's hope that sounds good. Super. Think? Well, well, we'll have to test it. So yes. check one, two, one, two. Bubble bee, bubble bee, bubble bee, bubble bee, bubble bee, bubble bee. Thanks very much, Caleb. So this is what the the mic sounds like indoors. So what do you say we head outdoors and see how it sounds there? Sounds good. Let's go outdoors. Okay, so we've come outside to test out the invisible lav covers fur outdoor with our lav mic mounted on Caleb's chest here. Let's give it a listen and see how it sounds. Thanks, Aj. As you walked away, could you leave some wind behind, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've come outdoors. It's pretty cold. It's also pretty windy. You probably tell from my hair. And that should give you an impression of how the invisible lav covers fur outdoor can protect against the wind and at least give you some usable audio uh, and that should yeah show you how that sounds so let's get inside where it's a bit warmer and there we go that's how this mount sounds outdoors and what we want to show you is how you could mic up a uh, talent with a hairy chest using our fur outdoor to mount the mic so that the fur stops some of the hair uh, rustle that might happen on the inside of the clothing and uh edge if i may have you on set thank you if we may swap sides just so I'm sure. not covering up. Um, and then, yeah, instead of mounting it on the hair, which would cause a bit of noise um, directly on the capsule, uh, we're gonna flip this one and we put it on the inside of the shirt. And that way the fur actually dampens some of the friction noise. So we'll take the backing paper off. And I'm gonna pop that just, see how the shirt falls naturally. And then, yeah, just over there. And then another thing you could do as well is you can use a little bit of the fur where, could you let the t-shirt down for just for a mm -hmm. second, where perhaps the t-shirt might be tightest against his chest. Um, so I suspect that's probably around here. And just to lift the fabric away from the hair as well, um, which will help to reduce some of the ambient noise around the, the mic. So let's give that a try as well. Um, so yeah, sure. pop that up. Um, can I stick this to the inside of the shirt over yep. here? And the other one, we will pop just around here. Okay, how does it feel with the fur on your chest? It feels absolutely fine, nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, feels good. Okay. Uh, and obviously we're testing the sound now, if you just... So, testing, testing, one, two, one, two, bubble B, bubble B. Thanks, Edge. This time you stay, I'll go. Okay, thanks, Caleb. Okay, so for this next mount, I'm going to show you how to use a piece of fur from my invisible lav covers to mount a Lavellia microphone inside the brim of a hat. So, I'm going to take my microphone here. And for this purpose, I'm going to use my very own hat, as such. So I'm just going to secure the wire of my lav mic down inside the hat so it stays in place. Okay, so the cable's mounted centrally inside the hat. And I'm going to get a piece of invisible lav tape. I'm going to mount the microphone a bit more centrally in there as such, ensuring to keep the capsule inside the pre-cut window. Then going to attach our piece of fur. About 
three quarters of the way up. I'm just going to fold that fur over a little bit to ensure the capsule is covered as such. And then I'm going to mount that on the inside of the brim centrally in the middle of my forehead. There we go. So I'm then going to take this, put my hat back on. And for the next part, I'm going to need my assistant, Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Hey, Ed. If you wouldn't mind feeding this wire down the back of my shirt. Yeah, of course. Thank you. And um, should we put a bit of tape at the back here? Just yeah, to keep I think it in that's place? a good idea. Make sure it follows the contour of the neck so it's not uncomfortable and then actually keep that below the level of the T-shirt normally. But for these purposes, it'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> OK, you thank you very no much worries. for your help, Caleb. And there we go. Hopefully this sounds very good. Um, I think it's about time we head outside to see how it fares in the outdoors. Okay, so we've come outside to test out the invisible lab covers for outdoor, mounted just inside the brim of my hat. As you can see, it's pretty windy out here and it's also very cold. So there we go. Hopefully that sounded pretty good. Thanks so much once again for taking a break with us. If you liked what you saw, please don't forget to like, follow, share, or subscribe, and if you need any more information about our products, please visit bubblebeeindustries.com. Have a windy day.